Hello everyone, what is going on? It's Rachel here with another awesome video for you guys. Uh, if you do not know who I am or what I do, I'm a producer over at makersgonnalearn.com, which is your ultimate die cutting community. If you all have a die cutting machine that works with SVG and PNG cut files, that could be a brother scan and cut, a silhouette cameo, the Cricut line of explorers or uh, makers, anything like that, you guys will absolutely adore our membership. Not only do we have access to over 3,000 amazing uh, cut files, we have over 300 fonts. We also offer amazing printable guides, access to a members only Facebook group, free e-courses, commercial licensing, and so much more. So if you guys want to become part of a die cutting community and really build yourself up in crafting and learn everything you can about your machine and how to use it, click the very first link in the description below to see what all we have to offer. Today, guys, we're going to be teaching you all about printable vinyl. Now, we're specifically going to be using Cricut brand today. I have not used any other type of printable vinyl, and you guys know me. I am a comparison queen. I love to buy products that are a bit controversial or that haven't been used a lot and compare them to ones that we know and love with price and quality and all of those types of things, but I have not done that with printable vinyl because in this case, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I feel like the price is really relatively, um, you know, reasonable for how many sheets you get. Um, we, you guys can get this at Amazon. You can get it at uh, Hobby Lobby. You can get it from Cricut.com, uh, wherever you can get your hands on it. It is an amazing product. So today we're going to be going over printable vinyl 101, what it is, how to use it, how to make certain types of things, um, how to know, you know, what to print and cut and things like that. So, um, I'm going to be showing you all a couple of tips today. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make some amazing planner stickers. I'm going to show you how to make a car decal, like a traditional bumper sticker type car decal. We can make a ton of different ones. I actually have an amazing video all about making, sealing, and applying car decals that I will link down below. It was an amazing video, guys. Uh, so I will not go in super detail about uh, the car decals and applying it onto your car and sizing it for your car and things like that. Definitely check out that video to know the ins and outs of doing that in a professional manner. But today we're just going to be, be focusing mostly on the product, a little bit of design space, and how to easily uh, master this amazing uh, printable vinyl. So, of course, we do need the printable vinyl. This pack that we have comes with, I think, 10 sheets. Yes, yeah, so it's 10 sheets. It's about $7. Uh, again, not very expensive. Um, and then we also have a printer here. So you do have to have an inkjet printer when you use Print and Cut. Uh, we right here have a Canon TS8120 but I'm pretty sure that they have discontinued these or stopped creating them, but it's just kind of like a newer model has come out. Same printer, uh, same great low price, uh, just a little bit newer. So I'm pretty sure that one is the Canon TS9120. So they switched out an eight for that nine. <clears throat> so check that out. Um, I'll hopefully be able to link that down below if I can find one for the new one. But really, guys, any um, inkjet printer will work just fine. You cannot use laser printers with this um, material here. So uh, you'll also need a mat, your machine, of course, and you'll need uh, some polyurethane. Uh, this is uh, as a like protective sealer and this is what we use on car decals again i'll just be kind of touching on tips uh, much like this so if you're using it on a car if you're using it outside or maybe on your laptop case or something like that um, i would definitely use a coat of sealer on those before um, you cut them so uh, what you would do with that is you would print out your image so let's say for instance this little love with the paw here you go ahead and print this out and then before you cut it you would spray uh, several coats of sealer on this i would say one or two coats letting it dry in between light coats of sealer and then allowing the cricket to cut that and it will really seal it up and make sure that uh, when you put it on your car that the sun will not um, you know diminish the color it will not peel off or anything like that it's a great little sealer there um, and then also, whenever you're working with something that has been printed, uh, much like this printable vinyl, you want to be really delicate with it. So as far as transferring, um, for this particular image in Design Space, I'm going to show you guys how to make the classic bumper sticker um, 
oval a shape around it where you can print and cut that as well but for argument's sake let's say that the Cricut was going to cut out each individual letter it would cut out the L and then the paw print and then the V and then the E well you would need to transfer that to your car with something uh, it's not as easy as having a round uh, white background where you can peel it up just like a sticker and stick it on your car you would not want to place each individual letter so you would need to use a transfer tape but do not grab that Cricut brand transfer tape that strong grip transfer tape any type of transfer tape like that you will want masking paper transfer tape now this stuff is amazing we use this more than any other transfer tape that we have we use this on probably just about every one of our vinyl projects and it is a must for printed images um, other types of transfer tape are just too strong and they have a habit of peeling up that ink right off of there or dulling it quite a bit or you know ripping up that first layer to expose it and we do not want that to happen so make sure you are using a very delicate brand of transfer tape I'll link this down below it is one of our favorite craft products in the craft studio we use it all the time so you want to make sure you're being super gentle with these so I think first off we will go through how to place this into your um, printer because there is a lot of questions about it um, this printer right here it is inexpensive it's a great printer uh, re refills for the ink aren't that expensive so uh, it does have quirks because of that um, one of them being it doesn't do great with anything being in the bottom tray other than printer paper or copy paper if we have any thicker card stocks in there if we have uh, this material in there it doesn't do well the um, tray that we use the most is the rear tray so what you would do for this particular model and there's a little flap here you can just open that flap and pull out this little guy here and all he will do is make sure that you are going to be able to stabilize your paper because this is kind of floppy uh like if i don't have anything um to support it this is what it does it's just a floppy piece of paper and you don't want that uh, just right here okay so you could have it there but it's gonna flop over and it's not gonna be good let me open it up and demonstrate for you guys it's gonna be loud sorry taking the plastic off here toss it so here's the pack without paper on it and uh, we don't want it to flop around so if you take this and you place it back here in your tray line it up there in that little guy there it this is what it's gonna do it's gonna flop back we don't want that so we'll pull this out and that will be able to stabilize it perfectly now uh, you could also pull out this little rolly thing it's whatever you want to do but if you guys have one of these you'll see there's just like little grooves for paper to go and then it's in there and it's good to go you can put several sheets in there whatever you want to do and of course another point I want to make is you want to make sure that the um, printable side is facing you okay so what it's going to do is all it's going to do is run through the printer just like this. So it's just going to go boop, just out, just like that. Uh, so it'll have the printed side on it. However, if you put it on your in your rear tray, which I don't recommend with this printer, but maybe your printer doesn't have a top tray or something like that, you want to place it in your printer tray with the um, printable side down. So you want to see this Cricut logo and this grid when you place it down below because what happens when it's uh, in the bottom tray is it'll move up the printer and then come around and then print and then it's you know facing you so if it's in the rear place it uh, face down if it's in the top tray you have it facing towards you so I hope that that answered a lot of your questions about how to put this material in your printer I know that can be really tricky especially if you've never worked with this before um, but I'm relatively certain that all printers work the same with the rear tray as that it uh, kind of feeds it through and up and over. So definitely think about that or read your printer instructions if um, I happen to be wrong, which I really hope I'm not. Um, so now I'm just going to show you guys how you can um, go about going in design space and showing you guys the ones that we're going to be cutting out today, which is again, some really cute planner stickers. And then just a quick little card decal that I'm going to show you guys. Um, I will be manipulating uh, both of these to show you how easy it is in design space and showing you some tips and tricks on how to get these to print perfectly. Okay, so here is our finished uh, products here. You can see our little uh, love with our uh, dog paw or cat paw, either one, little paw here. Um, it has already been flattened. You can see over on the layers panel, 
it is a print and cut. And then over here, if we click on this guy, you can see this is a print and cut as well. Are these stickers not to die for? How cute are these guys? We have so many planner stickers at Makers Gonna Learn. They are just endless. Let me go ahead and come out here and see if I can find some of these today. Um, I'm gonna search planner and show you guys some of these planner stickers. They're so stinking cute. So if you come down here, you can see all these planner stickers that we have. We have some that are uh, school related. So we can go and see this one that has a bunch of school. You have like pencils and the school bus and little apples and some little tabs for you guys to remember things. Let's see, there's one that's, Oh, let me see. Oh, I love this one. So this one is so cute too. It's got little houses. You can see like on the second row here, garbage cans and recycle cans, some hangers, some gas cans. It's just little reminders for your planners that are absolutely adorable. Um, there's another one I love too, this one right here. If uh, maybe you have some doctor's appointments coming up or maybe you're a nurse and you wanna uh, put on your calendar whenever you're working with your little stethoscopes and shots and things like that. These are super fun too. Uh, so we do love those planner stickers. So this is one of our planner stickers here. And this one is just kind of like overall, um, you know, just fun. You have uh, cakes for birthdays, you have some for parties, you can place some on the calendar with pizza slices for the nights that you and your spouse want to go out to eat, uh, celebrations, vacations, shopping sprees, movie tickets, game nights. I mean, guys, these are so cute. So these import very easily, just imports as a PNG. Um, and we just popped it in here just like so. And the only thing we have to do with this guy is to size it. So let's say that it's this big or that it's teeny tiny when we import it. Well, we do not want this to be teeny tiny, but let's say, okay, well, I want it to print and cut about, you know, 12 by 12 or something like that. Um, well, you can't do that either. If you look on the layers panel, you'll see that little caution sign there. That's there because you are trying to print too big. So unfortunately guys, uh, on Cricut for print and cut, you can only print and cut 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches. So that is sad. However, that's very important to know. So if you go up here um, and you unlock the size ratio, we're gonna make the width 6.75, enter. And then we're gonna go over here to height and click in top 9.25 enter and then if you go and you look at that layers panel um with the planner that selected that caution sign has went away it is it it's at its maximum that it can print and cut but it will still allow you to do so uh, so that's all you have to do with this one it imports just like it's supposed to it's the easiest thing in the world and these are absolutely flipping adorable i love these i want to print them all out and be way more organized than i am um and then for our little dog pot here i'm just going to scoot him over um, I have one that's been hidden. So this is how it will import in Design Space. If you look at the layers panel, you have your paw all has different um, layers there. So you can ungroup this and move your paw around in your little toes, or you can leave it how you want it and weld it. So I don't want to necessarily move uh, the dog paw or anything like that. So I'm just going to click weld on that. So that was a step uh, that I took. You don't have to take it. Step I took. So here now is our little love here. Now I want this to be print and cut. You can easily say, I just want to make this in black vinyl and put it on my car. Is that fine? Of course that's fine. That is totally fine if you want to do that. But if you want to make like a classic bumper sticker look, uh, then you will need to have, you know, like the oval, um, back lay, the oval, I don't know, the, the backing be white and an oval. I don't know how to say that guys, my mind today. But, so all you have to do is go over here and get a circle. So you've got our circle right here. Then I'm gonna change the color of my circle. I'm gonna change it to a light gray just so we can see it, but you wanna change this to white after the fact, of course. So all you're gonna do is unlock that circle at the uh, bottom left there, you can unlock it. And I'm gonna stretch it, okay? I'm gonna stretch it out. Then I'm gonna take my love and bring it in and try to size it. Now, if this happens to you, you guys should know what to do with this. Go up to the top panel, between a line and flip, you'll see a range. You can click a range, click send to front, and there's your little dog, uh, your little love with your paw there. So now we're just gonna click on this and make it a bit bigger. And see, because I have this unlocked, I can make this whatever dimension I want, you know? 
But for right now, I want to try and uh, get my love to look good in here. Now again, I have a lot of excess on the sides here. So I can kind of make it a little wider and then scoot it in a little bit. Move my love. This is looking much, much better. So once you have it kind of how you want it, you can go ahead and select both layers. And I do that by just clicking and dragging over both. You can tell if you have layers selected over in the layers panel, whichever ones are highlighted. And now I'm gonna go up in the middle of edit and arrange to my align and click align center. So that'll center it up for me exactly how it, it's supposed to be. To me, it doesn't look like it's in the center, but it is. I'm just gonna kind of move it around to make it look like it's in the center to me. And now you wanna make sure you take that background here and go up to colors and make that white. Perfect, okay. So now it's coming together, guys. You can see how cute this is. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these layers, take both of them. I'm gonna lock that back down there at the bottom. And then I'm gonna to go to my bottom of my layers panel where you can see slice, weld, attach, and flatten. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna flatten it. Now, um, make sure you like how it is. Make sure that you uh, don't wanna change anything and then you can go ahead and click flatten. And see, here's how it looks when it is flattened. And now you can just make it smaller or bigger, however you want. Uh, definitely go measure your bumper. <laughs> go make sure that it will look good for your bumper. I think this one is five by three. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to erase that one because we do like the sizing of this one. Now, again, these will look really cute on your back windshield or something like that as well. It doesn't have to be your bumper. Just, you know, whatever you want. Just make sure that you go outside with a measuring tape and you size that up. So once you have both of these sized, they're ready to print, they're ready to go. You can go ahead and click make it and they will sort on the mat here. So uh, here's a couple tips that I have for you all. We're going to go ahead and print this guy and here's what you'll wanna say. Uh, you're gonna continue and click send to printer here. So for this one, these are just really cute stickers. So we just want one copy and we do want to turn bleed on and leave it on. So bleed automatically comes on. It's just like the default setting. But if you do not want bleed on, you can turn bleed off. For this one, we want bleed on. So we're just gonna click print, but we've already printed and guys, we have our printer unplugged on the table here. So that wouldn't be good to try and print. But you guys go ahead and print. And then for this little guy down here, um, we want to go ahead and once you click him, you can go up to this little line here because we haven't printed him yet. And you can click send to printer and we're gonna turn bleed off. Now I'll tell you why. What bleed will do is bleed is just gonna kinda give a little extra um, ink on the edges of the um, whatever your cut file is. So on all these little planner stickers, it's just gonna kinda bleed a little bit of extra color around the edges so that if the Cricut does not print and cut super precisely, then it doesn't really matter. But since this just has a white background, it really doesn't matter uh, where the Cricut, uh, whether, whether it has bleed or not, because it's white either way. So we don't need bleed on that one. You can press print and then be good to go. So now uh, we'll just go ahead and I'll show you guys how to load these on your mat and cut them out. Uh, but again, before we do that, guys, I'm getting ahead of myself. You need to make sure that you are gonna be clicking printable vinyl. We have a printable vinyl already favorited here. We're just gonna click printable vinyl and leave that on default pressure. And then we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how to cut these out. All right, so here are our printed images here. We have all these really cute planner stickers and our little bumper sticker here. Now again, this is when you would wanna take this bumper sticker to a well ventilated area in your garage, something like that, and spray it with a couple coats of the spray sealer here. Um, now we do have clear satin. I will give you guys a little bit of a heads up. Clear gloss if you put too many coats on, but that's relatively uh, for like water slide decals where you put like six, seven coats. If you put two coats of like a clear gloss, that should be fine but we use clear satin because sometimes guys only sometimes the registration marks in our Cricut while it's sensing it can't sense them because I guess since it has so many layers of um, you know a sealer on there it just kind of can't sense them well but that should not be a problem here because you only need a couple of coats just something to be aware of there so you can go ahead and spray that with a couple coats allow it to dry for several hours before you cut it and then you can get to cutting that as well um, and then our little planter stickers here um, you really don't need to do anything with these these aren't going to be outside in the elements or anything like that so we're just going to go ahead and uh, cut these out so Cricut again is just going to know exactly how to cut these He's, it's going to read those registration marks then cut them all out for us so first up is our little love with our paw here so you can bring this in and all you're going to want to do is place it 
in the top left hand corner here. There we go. And once it's on the mat good, we're just gonna go ahead and load it into our machine and let it cut out. And that's it guys, it was super easy to do that. Um, all we have to do is you can peel this up and then it's just like a sticker there. So <clears throat> you can either leave it on the paper like this or you can take the corner of it just like this and then pull it and peel the top of this sticker off here. Of course, this is the hardest part for me today. Goodness, how funny. There we go. You can peel it up just like this, just like that. Or you can just leave it on there uh, whenever you're ready to put it on your car. Now, I do just want to make a note, guys. Uh, I do not want to see any comments about uh, me wasting this down here. This was a purely educational video. Uh, we do have some hacks on how to use half sheets of printable vinyl and things like that. Um, and, it, you know, with us trying to film, I don't want to confuse anybody by having two or three of anything on here. I just want to make it one. So I really don't want to see any comments about how much I've wasted. Uh, just FYI. Okay. So now we're going to place this one on our mat just like so. I did get another mat because that mat seemed not to be very sticky for us. And then you're just going to place this on the mat, same setting, and go ahead and let your Cricut cut it out. And our stickers just got finished cutting as well. And these look great, guys. They're so stinking cute. So again, you can do the same thing with this if you would like to. You can take it from a corner and peel up a little bit. Maybe you have to pinch it both ways. However you uh, can find to do this easily. And you can peel this up and reveal all your cute little stickers. Guys, there you go, okay. So now you have a full sheet of planner stickers. Let me get in here so you can see these. Look how cute. So you have, uh, like I said, little birthday cakes and pieces of cake and vacation. You go on a little trip, coffee. Maybe you're getting some photos taken or you're taking some photos. You got some movie tickets, some shopping time. These are so cute, guys. So we love our planner stickers and then of course we love our little bumper sticker here all you have to do is peel this guy up just like a sticker and lay them on your bumper no need for transfer tape for this guy but you can you know you can use it if you want to if you were using something um different than this that didn't have a, a white backing on it uh, like we mentioned then you can use that if you want to um but uh these don't need transfer tape they don't need a sealer or anything like that these are just adorable to peel and stick in your planner and help you stay nice and organized Guys, I hope that you enjoyed learning all about uh, Cricut Printable Vinyl. I absolutely love this product. Now, something that I did not mention is the need to calibrate your machines. Now, you might be a little bit new to Cricut and not quite know what that means. So, I wish I had a good example here on the table for you, but let's just say, for instance, if we went and cut out our little um, planner stickers again, um, and we didn't have our uh, fine point blade calibrated, it could cut very unevenly. So it could start cutting in the middle of my cake or off to the side. Uh, if you looked on the uh, other camera, you could see there's a little bit of a white outline on all of these stickers. You might not have that on some because your uh, fine point blade might not be calibrated properly, it needs a calibration. So I will link the uh, video down below that Becca filmed all about calibrating all of your different machines. So after you learn how to calibrate your fine point blade, you will have total success with print and cut uh, because print and cut is something that could be um, hard for some people, difficult, uh, it sounds difficult, that's for sure, but print and cut is really, really easy and we love using printable vinyl for our print and cut uh, projects and we love making bumper stickers and planner stickers and keychains and all kinds of stuff with printable vinyl. So we hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you love this video, if you have any questions or comments about it. Don't forget to subscribe to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel and hit that bell to get notified on all of these amazing videos that we post. And again, click the very first link in the description below to learn how you guys can become part of our die cutting family. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.